These initiatives caught the attention of leaders in other towns and cities in the Piedmont Triad. Fox 8's Madison Forsey is live in Thomasville. Madison, that is one city looking to use the ideas as leaders there see the homeless numbers exploding. Yeah, I spoke to one couple who owns a business here and says that the growing homeless population is actually hurting their business. They own a warehouse along Tower Road and discovered a homeless camp right at the edge of their business between Interstate 85, actually off to the trees to my left. It's one of 11 homeless camps the Thomasville Police Department is keeping an eye on here. The couple reached out to NCDOT, made them aware of what was happening. NCDOT leaders put up this sign, but the couple says they need more to be done. Fail intimidated, scared, scared for my employees, uh, didn't really know what to do. Roy Hewlin had those feelings the first time he saw people walking out of a homeless camp through his parking lot and he says they broke into his business. They may not be harmless, but they're breaking in businesses, cars, throwing trash down and it's not acceptable when you're running multiple businesses. Roy and his small group of employees make truck beds here along Tower Road. Since they moved into the space four months ago, deputies have arrested four people for trespassing and two for breaking in and stealing merchandise. It's very disheartening. I mean, and it's it's a little bit scary. I mean, because you don't, for the general public, they see that and they automatically go to, this is a dangerous situation, I don't want to be a part of it. Sandy Motley and other homeless advocates have watched the number of homeless people in Davidson County skyrocket since November. We went from serving about 180 folks a month with our food and clothing to almost 420 families each month with food and clothing. The shelter at First Hope Ministries is almost full. 16 families are on the waiting list for temporary housing. That it's families and children. 30 years ago, it was a single man on the street. And now it's senior women. It is mothers with small children. Davidson Medical Ministries, the Salvation Army, and First Hope Ministries teamed up to form DC Connect in October. The hope is to raise almost $3 million to build a shelter with wraparound services to get people out of tent camps and into a home. These lives depend on these resources. Um, these are vital resources that these folks need to live day by day, and they depend on us. So it is very, it can be very heartbreaking. For Roy and his wife, those resources can't come soon enough. It's confusing. That's what it is. Nothing's being done, and we're, you know, we're trying to run a business, trying to bring something to Thomasville. I reached out to NCDOT and the sheriff's office to see if they would do regular checks in this area. They tell me that they do check the area from time to time, but there's really nothing that they can do to keep people from coming back. The city of Thomasville is also in talks about how to address the homeless situation, but those talks are in the very beginning stages right now. In Thomasville, Madison 4C, Fox 8 News. Thanks.